So we are here on January 6th. January 6th. Pretty seminal date, right? Anything ever happened on January 6th, panel? Uh, it looks that way according to the document you have up on the screen. 1800, 6th of January. <laughs> well, God, well, is, I so want the live God is so much better at this than we are. You know, I didn't, I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't alive in the... 1800s, but well, I well, you know, I, having I a long memory is a good thing, isn't it? Sassy from the 1700s. <laughs> I want you to know I could tell you what happened in 2022. Why don't you talk Linda. about that? For, why don't you talk about that for a minute? Come on, our queen's backstage. Now, queen, I need you to sit down and listen to uh, an, a, a voice of wisdom here. You know, you've been around a day and a half like me. Why don't you tell me what, what happened in your life and your perception on January 6th? Well, I was at the, um, up on the hill, having a big shindig up there because they was going to um, have a big old speech. But Donald Trump had one out in the wind because he was uh, cheated on. And they had taken all the votes and um, lied to us about the election. So, so he was you, leaving. You hear me talk about patterns, right? Yes. I, I'm not kidding you. This, this is not just trauma. I did not see that date. That's really hard for me to see. This, these two, these two colors don't work well in my world. Well, you're colorblind. <laughs> well. When I am I'm not LBGTQ colorblind, okay? <laughs> I'm not I'm not I, I have colored issues, yes, that's true. So I have been doing a bunch of reading of stuff that is really old with the intent to manifest critical thinking in the above ground dwelling humans <laughs> to put the most argumentative things I can in one sentence. And George Washington's part of this reading. You can find this on, I don't know, what are we what are we up to now, Brandy? 20, 20 platforms? So oh, that, yeah. We are shouting from the rooftops. If you want to go be a sovereign citizen, I think we should all know what that means. I think so too. Absolutely. Help us out. Okay. So there's readings around all of this. So I'm not get, really going to do a deep dive on all these documents. I've got four to run through, and I'm trying to keep this short so that people can take a crap and read the whole thing or hear it. Because no one has any want to critically think anymore. Oh, wait. I'm going to stop. My little voice by the name of Sassy told me to stop running my mouth tonight. This is from 250 years ago, people. 225, whatever we're at here, 1800, January 6th. <laughs> yes, it was. You know, I love numbers. So, numbers and I know you do. Well, let's keep going. What's that say? December what? December the 14th, 1799. At 68 years of age, is that what it says? Yes, it does. So, it took them. Uh, three weeks to come up with this. And the, re the inhabitants requested this. So if you listen to this, Washington starts calling out red flag signals. Hey, shit's going to go sideways. It might take a couple of hundred years. <laughs> a couple of hundred. Well, what are we at? 225, something like that. 220 oh, two, years. Two, 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 five, nine, two, six, one. Somewhere you're there. The fourth president of the United States is James Madison. He's the first guy to sell us out. The mayor and the aldermen of the Common Council asked for this recount. I read this. We got a couple of hits. 
on a platform no one's ever heard of. It's read by John Quincy Adams. Adams, one of the original Adams, second president, John Adams. We're going to get to him in a minute. 1836. You want to know what you're supposed to do? Everyone says, stand up, be a patriot. Let me give you some definitions. Tell me I'm off base, Thor. You're right on so far, sir. So tomorrow, what I really want to make this show about is tomorrow I get to talk to a panel. I'm, I'm still waiting on people to RSVP. You know, everyone's afraid to go on a show with me. <laughs> they, they, they might get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to get canceled. Well, how, how? Okay, okay, I'll play this game. How, how many hours on the over and under until we get kicked off of Facebook? All right, Mr. Pessimistic. I am not pessimistic. Do not raise your voice to pessimistic me. Pessimistic is the is, is a is a, pe Do is a not pessimistic raise person your eating pesto. Voice to me, Pest, pesto mystic is a pessimistic person person I, eating pesto. You a pest for one thing, so hush. <laughs> Well, the, where where did I go wrong, honey? You opened your mouth. Well, all my ex-wives agree with you. Well, I agree with them. <laughs> well, y'all are coming out of the gate running. You ought, you ought to show up at the month of media. You'll probably end up with a check. <laughs> <laughs> so... I go backwards to go forwards. I don't really trust anything that's been published in the last, what, two or 300 years? So we're talking about Persian tyrants looking forward. And they, this, this recount of our recent history of 200 years, <laughs> A Treatise of Government by John Locke. This is John Locke, who is a, a, a British sympathist, as they are called at the time, I'm still going back a couple hundred years. He is making a case for the king. So that the, 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 the dynasty, the monarchy, the tyranny of the time is based on this hypothesis that of the immortal Locke. Oh, wasn't there a John Locke? Oh, there was a John Locke in that, uh, what was the Castaway movie they filmed in Hawaii that had seven seasons? It was so successful. What was that called? Uh, oh, darn it. That was during the 90s. It was a great series. Anyway, this is John Locke. Uh, they don't have any new names. He's coming forward saying the king is a descendant from Adam. Oh, wait, he's not. This is a dissension piece. This is up on the library. He says that no way. God gets Adam out of the fact that he's the Lord of all. Christ is Lord of all. And he comes forward. He spends uh, 429 pages talking about the fact that Christ is the man. You know, then he shows up in a series in the 90s called, it's not the island, it's the something. Okay, This document right here, which is also up in the library, What's it called? No, that's Fantasy Island. The studio audience had an input, but it was wrong. Okay, so uh, this is the addresses of all of the previous of the early presidents, and we hear from here a couple of things. Uh, uh, what was the one that you pointed out, Thor? That if I'm a if I'm a senator, I was in a the original reading of the Constitution, and it's. Uh, Section 1, Article, was it 11, that says a state senator cannot represent a state he lives in. For bias reasons and uh, conflict of interest to that state. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Run me down. Give me 30 seconds. Talk, talk about how, why it would be important that your job was to just audit the last guy, not make more inside deals. No, absolutely. I mean, 
at this time when it was written, it was referring to, you know, the nominee or the senator could not work in that state for that exact reason. So there wouldn't be, you know, any lobbying. Uh, there wouldn't be, you know, any um, conflict of interest, basically. So that was very interesting to me when uh, we read through that yesterday, I believe it was. Wasn't that uh, Brandy? Yes, it was. And I interpreted that same statement in a different way. Uh, I interpreted if that person who was nominated uh, went to the election to be voted on, whether they would uh, be chosen, would have to be done by all states except the state he lived in so that they would be absolutely no conflict of interest or payoff. Yeah. And, and, and it talks about a gathering. It talks about a gathering of states, right? So it's not right. just the states that are engaged at that point in time. It's actually building. You know, everyone says, oh, the Constitution is a living document. Well, yes, it's a living document because we're living in the constraints of the document. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, I, I'm sorry to barge in on you. Uh, yeah, that, that, this is not bullshit. This is what the founding fathers said, okay? You want to stand up and be a sovereign citizen? Stand up with the right piece of paper in your hand. Not something that was passed by a, a Congress and a Senate that can't elect a freaking leader. So would you not say the argument could be said that each person had a chance to vote for, I don't know, two senators uh, because every person we needed X amount of senators so if everybody could choose the two people they thought could best fill those shoes, it wouldn't matter what states they came from because uh, I, I, have, I have I have an idea. Yeah. Why, why, don't, why don't we stop hypothesizing and go and read, read it. from the original text? There you go. Sounds like a winner to me. This That's is the cool. earliest printing I can find of this text. And if, and if no one's ever listened to me before and you don't know what that means, piss off. <laughs> Sorry, Sassy. My first mark. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. This is Article 1. Queen Califia, will you please read the top above Article 1 for me with the, with the voice of a queen? She's still backstage. I can't see it. Queen Califia? It's backstage. Did, did, oh. you, did you know, you know, Sassy, when you were born in, in the 1700s, I, I know they didn't have glasses worth of shit. But you know, you, it was that uh, two weeks after you was born or three years. I still resent that toy you took from me at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> of the United States. Oh, go ahead. In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. That's us to ordain and establish the Constitution for the United States of America. That is the document I'm reading from. We are quibbling, as we will do, stuck in the decision matrix, about this thing that says, oh, those people up there suck, and they shouldn't be there. <laughs> what I've got on the screen right now is the first section of the first printing I can find. It's in uh, the American Politician, and it's published in eighteen. Wait for it. If you want to get this PDF, go to the library. Do your own research. Sassy, will you tell me how important it is to talk to someone that has their brain plugged in? Because I'm railing and I'm pissed. 
Well, if you want to talk to somebody that's got their brain plugged in and it's not it's not uh, getting tinkled down today, then um, I would suggest just go to the library and read it for yourself and look at other books and find out what you can find because everything that you're going to find is uh, right there. It's about the same thing you're going to be living now if you're with Joe Biden. Well, you voted for him, right? No, you did. And you're I jumped all, all over you. You're, you're all white lady. You're supposed to vote for Biden because you're a, a brainwashed, previously programmed old person. Quit talking about yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, I, I've been staying off the grid too long and I'm the best shape I've been in, well, maybe 150 years. <laughs> yeah. And that ain't in too good of shape. <laughs> Enough to keep you alive till today, baby. Okay, so what we're talking about here is is actually critically thinking. I'm not talking about critically thinking by going to the 18th story on the CNN website. Oh, shit, I did it. We're still going to put it on YouTube. So th this is from 1842. All this stuff's on the library. Go to Locals. And there, uh, I, I published a link said earlier today. Maybe that'll get put in the notes. I don't know yet. This guy right here, John Locke, he was a uh, part of a TV show in the 90s. Damn it, it was about an island. <sighs> Maybe someone will say something in the comments. Anyway, he was a key part of the story. He was paralyzed. He wasn't. There's a lot of symbolism there. Go to the movies. We did a show about that just the other night with Inner Earth. This is the eulogy of a president. James Madison. It's in four parts. You can find it on the stacks. You want to listen to it? I've been reading it myself. You don't like my voice? You probably shouldn't go there. This is old. This is old. This is from the 1700s. You want to be a sovereign citizen? You want to understand what your responsibility is? Stand up. <laughs> and stand up. Stand up. Then you got to stand. You got to know what you're standing for. You know, there's an old statement that says, "If there's nothing worth dying for, then living no more is nothing." Pick, pick me up, man. Come on, I'm, I'm gonna yell about this. I am. I am. Tired of this movie. Give me liberty or give me death. That's why you got all these platforms. You're just trying to inform everybody. You know, try to wake them up a little bit. Let them do some digs for themselves. You can't you know, wake anybody up. They got to wake themselves up. There has to be that still small voice in their head that says, holy shit, I was wrong. Yeah. This is words from the 1800s. It's all you're going to find from me. I'm not talking about Nassara, Nassara, RV, what happens tomorrow. I would love for a bunch of things to happen, and I think a lot of things are happening. We're going to talk about that tomorrow with a field of uh, scholars that are friends of mine, and uh, we're going to talk about old documents. Hey, give me a little bit of feedback. You know, I put a lot of work into this. What 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 have y'all learned from listening to me rant over really really old text? What 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 revelations have we come to here? Because that's that, I need a list. I want to know. Hey, I got a panel of people who research this just besides me tomorrow. They know. What kind of questions do we need? How did we get so here? And uh, what are we going to do moving forward? But we we learned um, pretty much that we're living in the times right now that this was written for. When the government becomes harmful to us, it's our duty to overthrow it. And that's what's happened to us. That's a lot of what I learned by listening to you. It shows us where we are today. And um, I, I don't know, I guess just collectively we're going to have to, uh, I know there, you know, a lot of stuff's being done like on the, um, like with the dumbs and all that, that stuff, but there's still things like that we have to do 
like in our local communities with schools and just things like that. We have to apply the constitution, you know, to everything because everything's been infiltrated. Our God given rights, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. You know, our government has become a tyranny to us, you know, a control power. Um, and this is what is not how the original constitution had the government. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Sassy, okay. I'm going to close this out. Sassy and Brandy, give me, give me a basically, minute. Basically, it's like they knew we had the power to um, overthrow them. So they put out everything possible to put us in fear to make sure we didn't do anything uh, out of fear. So let's talk about that fear. And it's actually coming closest. And I got I got something else I want to say here. And I'm going to cut this because the, 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 the look at her are less than 30 minutes. And I'm, I'm trying to push this, man. Everything I can do to get this message out. People got to wake up. This is fear. Look at these earthquakes. This is not normal. Uh, there's flooding that comes and goes like a wind in a phrase. It's a fear, fear, fear environment. Okay, you got to stop. You got to stop. My friend Sassy has been alive for a long time, just like I have. I have seen this cycle. How do you overcome the fear, Sassy? How do you do it? I don't see Sassy anymore. I'll tell you what she would say if she was sitting. Fear. <laughs> Sassy? Yes. Yes. Did you put on those stretch pants, get to the living room where the microphone is? What you doing? I put on pants and, and tried to mop the floor with them. <laughs> I know you can't get up without a stripper pole. <laughs> no, it was, no, it was, it was my I got you. I, I got you. I got you to stumble. Ba, 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 ba. First win of the year. Uh, <laughs> actually, I was going to say was something else, like but else. I forgot I was, I I was live. live. If I haven't told you lately, sister, I appreciate you. So mm, what I'm right. trying to talk you're about right. here is how do you overcome the fear? Look, you and I have been more than one revolution around the sun, the S-O-N. It's always hard. Some part of the year is time to plan or time to reap, time to sow. Tell me how you do that. And then I got something to close with here. We're going to cut this with a half and come back and do another. Well, again, we're repeating, we're repeating history, we're history again. again. And we know this and comes we around every so often. But the thing about it is most people don't remember it because they, they keep they cutting pay, pay, keep you working, keep you working. Uh, uh, and away from your and family from your and everything. Family and they don't pay it any attention. And so now and so everybody is everybody opening their, is eyes, their eyes and seeing what's, and going, seeing on. what's going on. And now they're yelling and about it. Yelling and they want to put a stop to, to it. it. We got a bad echo. Bad echo. I know what I hear. I it. know what I hear. It. Okay. So settle, settle down. Why? Settle down. Let me tell you what George Washington said about what my friend Sassy. I got to tell you, there are a few people that I trust my spiritual health too enough to truly pray with them. Sassy's one of them. She speaks truth. So does George Washington. Here's what they said about him in his eulogy. The great and good man, our first president. The great and good man whose death has been lately announced through our land and to whose memory we are now assembled to pay our tribute of respect, was favored above the great leader and lawgivers of Israel. This text will tell you earlier that Washington was given the reins of America by the kingdom of Israel, by the way. Go to the library, look it up. It's about nine paragraphs above where I'm at right now. That's not this show. He has not only been successful leader in most difficult times and dangerous scenes, he has been permitted by a divine providence to pass through them all, 
to survive the sufferings and dangers of his country and to see it after the struggles of a successful war. Establishing a system of free and efficient government and under its administration, enjoying eminent prosperity and increasing with unexampled rapidity in wealth, population, and strength. Does that sound like the presidency of Donald Trump or Joseph Biden? And I just got us kicked off of uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this is my point, okay? Wake up. If you want to be a sovereign citizen, go back to the beginning and claim your true rights. That's my point. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., I'm going to go live everywhere I can with a panel of, of uh, congressional, senatorial, and historical um, uh, the guys that know their shit. <laughs> that, oh, wait. YouTube again, we're off. <laughs> so I, I and that, and I appreciate y'all. What I hear what I hear saying said here is uh we just want to know. I don't know. How do I do that? What are those right questions? Well, I mean, just, I, mean I would ask everybody would out ask there everybody just to there. look at the government. What's going on with it right now? Like Gandalf alluded to, we can't even pick a speaker of the House. You know, this you know, you know, you know this Thor, you know, but, you know, as a god, I know you don't think about this very often, but we, we should ask everybody else. What a, a, a Brandy, as the, as the getter of all things that get done actually, will you will you please make sure we ask on all platforms? And Thor Cleefia, I know you're part of that distribution process. Let's put on, what do we want to use? Locals, uh, Rumble, uh, Truth, uh, BitChute, uh, CloudHub, uh, Minds, uh, Gab, uh, YouTube, maybe Facebook. Getter. 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 Oh, Getter. good for you. <laughs> I love my team. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Oh, really? so, so, yeah, we got till ten o'clock tomorrow morning, and I am not. I wouldn't. I would not pull you down a primrose path without glasses to see what's real. So tomorrow we're going to talk about constitution. We're going to do it at ten o'clock in the morning. We're going to be live everywhere we can get away with. Give us a question. We'll answer it. If you got some bona fides, some real cred, maybe we'll pull you in the show. You'll have to get past Thor, Califia, Brandy, and I, uh, and the last bastion of all truth, Sassy. <laughs> she kicks out like on cue. <laughs> I would I would watch the scatter gun of that old woman. <laughs> so let's send it out on all platforms. Ten o'clock tomorrow morning. Constitutional review. Let's do it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, okay. I just encourage everybody out there, um, if you're watching this, you know, go to the libraries and do some research yourself. He probably has 50 videos out there plus um, that, you know, he's got different platforms that he's creating for a place for you to be able to come talk and ask these questions and, um, you know, be able to have responses to. So, just do a little digging for yourself and, you know, claim your sovereign citizenship. You know, we are one being under God. So, um, you know, just do some digs. Sassy, you want to close us in prayer? Sure. Heavenly Father, I come to you tonight with. Yes, Lord. With so much on my mind tonight with with everything that's going on in this world that also went on back in the 18, 1700s, Lord. Yes. Lord, you, you know that this has all been going on for so long and now you're tired of it. And Lord, you're going to put a stop to it. And Lord, we're just asking you to be with us as we continue to 
talk to the people out there and get them to understand that this has been the devil's work and not yours and to come and and know that you are god and lord we love you and we praise you amen 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 and so it shall be and so it is said you know i appreciate everybody here I am very much looking forward to seeing how hard we can stir the pot tomorrow. This should go out across all bands, all frequencies, and all somethings. And uh, and everybody here, you're more than welcome in this restaurant of discussion where we serve spicy topics and uh, 200 proof responses. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sassy. I pulled your chain that whole sentence. I get nothing. You did. I heard you. <laughs> Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night, Gandy. Night, John Boy. Good night, everyone. Good night, Grace.